This next video will be by Mitchell from Australia. I'll put a link to his channel below so you can go and subscribe to him immediately. But it is an excellent and very succinct summary of the black swan argument. So enjoy this video and a massive shout out to Mitchell from Australia. Wow. I'm Mitchell from Australia and this is the number one globe killer. Hopefully by now all of you have seen this video by BMLSB69. His observer foot height is only one foot. Now that first platform is 6.2 miles away and platform habitat is 9.4 miles away with the horizon far in the distance beyond that. Now I'm going to let you just sit there and take this in because this is the absolute number one globe killer. Modus Tolan states, if P, then Q, not Q, therefore not P. If P, we live on a globe of radius 3959 miles, then Q, every horizon distance measurement cannot be more than 1.23 miles times the square root of the observer height in feet. Not Q, the geometric horizon is far greater than 2.73 miles for 5 foot. Therefore, not P, the Earth is not a globe. But this valid logical conclusion is hand waved by the globe zealots as word salad. So I'll put this devastating picture in simpler terms. Globe believers must have a physical leading edge the geographical edge to their sphere in order for boats to go over it and for land and water to curve around it. It's a fundamental pillar to their religion. If the globe they presuppose has a radius of 3959 miles, then the horizon distance is set by the height of the observer. So what makes this image so devastating is the height of the observer at only one foot. The horizon should be 1.22 miles. But even if we set it at 5 feet, the horizon should be 2.73 miles. But we can see the bottom of platform habitat where it meets the water 9.41 miles away and the horizon above that beyond in the distance. Making it fundamentally impossible to see this from one foot on a globe. The globe does not wow. exist.